Just wanted to give you guys a kind of a real world example of current pull versus music, whereas we usually do um, test tones. So let's try it out. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content. All right, today we're going to look at another Brazilian amplifier, the Sound Digital SD3000.1 EVO2. Looks very similar in size to the Taramps 3K. 8.6 or 219 millimeters by 9 inches or 230 millimeters. And the thickness is 2.8 inches or 71 millimeters. So pretty small footprint overall. Here are the ground and battery terminals as well as remote terminals for input and yes a little bit larger than 4 gauge I think I'd call it 2 gauge or oversized 4 gauge for power and ground. On the opposite end we have input for RCAs, crossover high and low, gain control, also a level control and a frequency for bass boost. Don't recommend you use that really because it will add distortion. As with most Brazilian amplifiers, this one runs full range and you can use the high pass crossover as your subsonic. But these controls are really cheap. Feel very flimsy. I wasn't a big fan of them. Uh, just so you know, they feel kind of like the tar amps. They must just use real cheap potentiometers on these amps. Speaker outputs, 8 gauge. You can fit 8 gauge in here and only has one output. So if you want to run multiple subs, you'll have to figure out another way to do that. Here are the ratings, 12.6 and 14.4 volts. We'll kind of be right between that, so we'll see how the numbers do. MSRP is kind of expensive, 599 US dollars. So, yeah, this is not a low end amp by any means on the Brazilian market. It's kind of higher end. Here's some of the ratings you can see sensitivity, operating voltage, current draw, efficiency, things like that. It doesn't really tell the frequency on which these are tested, except for here it says 100 hertz. So, uh, yeah, signal noise ratio is not very good, but the damping factor is actually pretty good. We'll use our ears to determine if that really means anything on the subwoofer test. One thing to note about this amp is the current pull measurements were very difficult to obtain due to the amp pulling excessive current after the amp had reached clipping or 1% distortion. So just note that. All right, Sound Digital 3K. We're going to try 4 ohms now to certified 1% THD. 40 hertz. All right, 977. Voltage is a little high, 14.6. 108.8 8 amps of current. All right, Sound Digital 3K Evo. We're going to try certified 2 ohms, 40 hertz. All right, 1835, 14.1, 179.2 amps. All right, gonna try the Sound Digital 3000.1. Try that one ohm, 40 hertz, starting around 15 volts. Let's see what we get. Twenty-eight thirty-two, right at fourteen volts, and three twenty-one point six amps. All right, now we're gonna try one ohm, one kilohertz with the Sound Digital three K. Assuming it'll be quite a bit more power. Let's find out. Thirty-three twenty-four, thirteen point eight five volts, and two ninety-six point five amps. 
All right, Sound Digital 3K Evo. We're gonna try uncertified 40 hertz up to clipping. Thirty-three ninety, thirteen point three, three sixty-three amps of current. All right, sound digital. The fan is a running. Let's try dynamic power, uh, one ohm, forty hertz, like a kick drum. Thirty-four seventy-eight at thirteen point seven. Now this is an inrush current, so don't go and freak out. But <laughs> four hundred sixty amps. That's what the flute says. Woo! All right, I'm gonna let you hear the sound digital here. It sounds like a mini uh, hair dryer. Not that I really know what a hair dryer sounds like. You big dummy. It's been running most of the tests. The fan's been running and it's quite loud. It's not quite as loud as my power supply, but it's not too far off. Just wanted to give you guys a kind of a real world example of current pull versus music. Whereas we usually do um, test tones. So let's try it out. All right, so we got the Magic Mic song playing. I'm gonna crank it up and then we're gonna watch the or watch the speaker and the uh all right you probably noticed by that we got like less than 70 amps of current draw from the amplifier and we were absolutely killing the sub so gives you an idea of music versus using sine waves you're not going to pull as much current yeah, so that was the average I was talking about. I did get a peak of 98.3 amps of current drawn. Still not bad, though, because that was just a one-time peak. Let's take a closer look, speaking of peak, inside this amplifier and see what it's all about. You may not be able to tell here by the video, but the amp does have these torque screws on the bottom. So we're going to use our Amazon screwdriver kit. Check the video description for a link so you can pick up one of these. Everybody who works on amps or looks at amps needs to have one of these toolkits, very inexpensive and very nice. Here we'll take off the bottom plate, check a look at the amplifier. As of most Brazilian amplifiers, this one utilizes the full bridge design. So it has half the components of a half bridge Korean amp. Do a Google search if you want to understand the difference between the two. This is the one ohm version, so it actually uses different resistors, different transformer, different caps, and also different MOSFETs than the two ohm version. You can see the large output capacitors there, 4700 microfarad, and the dual transformers, and there's an inductor there to keep the output nice and clean. There are the output devices down at the bottom as well. Again, not a lot of components here, my friends. But the really weird thing is the placement of the fan. Most amplifiers, they place the fan kind of vertical, so it pulls heat off the heat sink and this one it just sits it on the circuit board either way it must have worked okay because the amp stayed nice and cool during the test now let's look at the results we'll notice 40 hertz and 1 kilohertz test here and in most cases the 1 kilohertz are quite a bit higher than the 40 hertz there's some instances where it's not but at 1 ohm we didn't quite get the 3000 watts but we're still going to give this amp a pass because it did quite a bit more there at 1 kilohertz so this is not a bass related amplifier so just so you know it's more designed for full range actually did pretty well big d whiz until next time i'm out of here all right sound digital 3k evo 2 black edition on the dyno we're gonna try certified 1% THD, 1 ohm, 40 hertz. Twenty-nine sixteen, 
14.1. Whoo! 375.7 amps of current. Okay, so I didn't really touch on the fact about the signal to noise ratio, the damping factor, and the sound quality with subwoofers. Decided to hold off until we get to the 10W7 in car test in my Honda Accord that I kind of talked about before. But yeah, we actually have another uh, Brazilian amp here coming up in the future, this Banda 3K. And we're going to try it out as well. Sound Digital did okay. Until next time, you know where Big D is.